While its reviews have so far been mixed, Netflix's blockbuster high-concept superhero movie, Project Power is an engaging alternative to the DCEU and the MCU. The $85 million project hit the top spot of Netflix's top 10 on both sides of the Atlantic quickly after release as an indication of its appeal. Project Power follows a similar sci-fi path as Limitless and The Excellent Upgrade, exploring humanity's potential through augmentation. There are key takeaways from Project Power, which is likely to be successful on Netflix having cornered the market on available blockbusters, and while the ending appears to add some full stops to each character, it's not as simple as it may appear. The concept is high enough that there are complications in the ending that require explanation, not to mention the whole issue of how superpowers work, where they came from, and what could happen next. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of our videos. How do superpowers work in Project Power? Here are the big questions, how exactly does taking a power pill give the taker superpowers, why are they all different and why do some of them backfire so badly? The short answer comes from Art himself, mixed in with some of the scientific exposition from the demonstration sales pitch sequence by villain Biggie, played by Rodrigo Santoro. As Art puts it, we get these powers from animals and Biggie's presentation reveals that animals develop specific evolutionary superpowers like thermoregulation, self-regeneration, biological weaponry and enhanced abilities to suit their environment. The same powers lie latent in humans, but each person has one random power depending on which animal they share their evolutionary gift with. The film stops short of saying that the individuals are evolved from those animals and the evolutionary line is muddled when the element of randomness is introduced, but that's the internal logic established. The other element at play here is that some power users simply explode when they take the pills, pushing this almost into Netflix's horror category for a moment. One unfortunate potential buyer at the demonstration to the mysterious South Americans pops one and then pops himself, that's not because his superpower is spontaneous combustion. It's because the drug is unstable, which is why it's being so rigorously tested in the community, to find a way to control its erratic effects. What are art's powers? The escalation at the end of the film aboard the Taleos freighter finally sees Jamie Foxx's art reveal his own superpower, after hinting at it throughout the film, and warning ominously that bad things would happen. Art explains to the cowardly guard who frees him on the ship, his power mirrors that of a pistol shrimp and he's able to superheat the air around him and create shockwaves and intense bubbles to shoot at great speed at enemies who end up liquefied. The pistol shrimp is capable of generating temperatures that rival the surface of the sun to kill their prey, Art refuses to use his power up to that point because of a hinted past event where he used his power and people got hurt, by which he presumably means liquefied at tremendous speed and temperature. Given the revelation of his powers is then matched by the reveal that his daughter has a revival superpower built into her genes. It seems he may have previously died and been revived and doesn't wish to unleash his powers again in fear of collateral damage and dying himself. It's only when he knows his daughter is safe that he's willing to make the greatest sacrifice to help free Robin. If you like this video, make sure to hit the like button, if you have anything to say, please write it in the comment section, wanna hear from us again, don't forget to subscribe Wonderman.